Friends Meet Paper on Etsy, Instagram, and YouTube. And today I'm here to film a setup video of my personal size file facts. This is the Safiano and it is in aqua. And you can see I've got it pretty full right now. I will be using this binder as my planner, but also as a wallet. So in these three card slots here on the side, I plan to keep my driver's license, my debit card, and my credit card. And then in the pocket right here, I have a just a greeting card, blank greeting card, just in case I need it on the go. Jumping right into the rings, on the first thing I've got here, I've got a dashboard. It's just a colorful piece of scrapbook paper and a fly leaf. This came with the file effects and the paper I got from Michaels. Up here at the top, I've got my favorite flag clip, which I got from the Target dollar spot. Over here, I just have a fun photo strip from several years ago of my husband and I being goofballs on Halloween. And then I've got my yearly inserts here right in the front of my planner. So all of the inserts that I've gotten here are from my Etsy store. They are inserts that I've created. And the first one is my yearly goals insert. And it's kind of in conjunction with my perpetual calendar and my important dates for next year. So this insert set, I on the front just kind of separated out my goals into the different categories in my life and wrote those out for the year. In my perpetual calendar section, I just have important dates and birthdays, things that I wanna remember when the month actually gets here. And then I haven't even used this section yet, but I probably will now that it's getting to the second half of the year. It is a place to write down important dates for next year. Uh, since I don't have monthlies or even kind of the little mini monthlies here for next year yet, I will write those on this page and transfer them over when I set up my planner for 2018. The next insert that I have in here is a year at a glance, and I've got fall of 2016, all of 2017, and then spring of 2018 in here. And for my 2017 year at a glance, I'm using it to track my days that I've taken off and my husband's days he's taken off and then our holidays at our jobs so that I can make sure that we you know have va vacation days when we want to go on a trip or something like that. Uh, now I get into my tabs. You guys have probably if you've seen my videos you've seen these tabs before. They are originally from Staples and they were half letter size when I originally bought them. They're the Martha Stewart collection at Staples and I just trimmed them down into personal size. I made these over a year ago, so I'm not sure if they still sell these dividers at, my, at Staples or not, uh, but that's where I originally got them. So my first tab is my monthly tab, and I'm really excited about these inserts that I've got in here. I just created them, and they are monthly fold-out inserts. So this is my July layout. And I just kind of use some washi tape to mark off the days that aren't part of this month and then also to mark off our big trip that we're taking over the summer, which happens to be in July. And I also use a highlighter in my monthly layout uh, to separate my home and work tasks. This month, the highlighted tasks are for work. Typically, I do it the other way around and they're for home because I have more work tasks, but since it is summertime and I work at a school, uh, work is a little bit fewer and far, far between, and home is a little bit more prevalent. So that's how I set up my monthly layout. On the back of this insert that I created, I put a space to put goals and to-dos for the month. And then I also have a big section of lined paper just to write notes. And what I like about it is I have this sidebar here and this to-do section. And so I have those separated into kind of three different categories of to-dos. I've got my work to-dos, my home to-dos, and then I use this as kind of like my editorial or Etsy shop section. Uh, I'm just kind of doing this YouTube thing and my Etsy shop on the side, so I don't keep a whole nother calendar for it. I just kind of add my tasks here in this section. So that is my July setup. And I have set up just the monthly grid view for the next two months as well. 
So here's August. And this month I did switch back to highlighting personal tasks and keeping work tasks not highlighted because I know a lot more things will come up for work that I will need to write in. I have not filled out my notes or my goals yet. I will do that as the time arises or as the month arises. Uh, here is my September layout. Again, just using washi tape to mark off the days that are not part of the month and highlighting my personal tasks in a friction highlighter. And then the work tasks that will get filled in throughout the whole month will just be regular ink. Again, haven't done goals or to-dos yet for that month. So this insert uh, will be up on my shop this week. So check the link in the description below if you're interested in this fold-out insert. Um, I was really excited to get this into my planner and start using it because I love personal planners, but I never have enough space in the monthly layout. Uh, the boxes are just too tiny, and so I have a hard time writing in them. And so that's why I created this layout so it was a little bigger and I wasn't so cramped for space. Uh, I'm the kind of person that uses my monthly layout a lot, and so I like to have enough space to jot everything in there. My second tab is my weekly tab, and I just have a few weeks in here right now. I started using this planner about two weeks ago, so I just have a little bit of, of planning done so far in here. This was half of a week there. I've got my weekly section here. Now when I plan my weeks, I always have my week on two pages, and I switch up the layout that I use for that week on two pages. Right now, I'm excited and kind of into using this horizontal week on two page insert with tracking boxes. I use the main daily section to put the big events or tasks that are going on throughout the week. And then I use the two little boxes to track my workouts and my dinner for that night. And the washi tape, I like to try to keep that kind of a, as a functional thing as well. I use washi tape to mark off the boxes where I either don't plan on working out or don't plan on making dinner. Um, so that's what I use my washi tape for. And then I also like to have a daily page. And these are super simple. They're literally just the day of the week at the top, a little box to put the date, and then lined paper. And I'm liking this insert right now because it's, again, so flexible. Um, it allows me to have a lot of space for to-dos when I need it. So like this day, I had a ton of to-dos. <laughs> uh, and then other days when I maybe don't have so many to-dos, I can just use it for journaling or for jotting down notes or doodling or whatever I feel like doing that day. So that's what I like about these daily inserts. They're also set up so that you can see the daily page at the same time as the weekly page. So Wednesday and Thursday are gonna be visible here at the same time as Wednesday and Thursday on the weekly view. And then Friday is gonna be on the other side since so you can see it at the same time as this Friday. And same thing with the weekend. So that's my weekly setup. I've got another week here that I just laid out. And so there's the setup for this week. And again, I just use washi tape to mark off the days that I'm not planning on making dinner or not planning on working out. You can see that here. Uh, I do use highlighters every week, typically just to mark off either headers in my daily pages or in my weekly pages. I use them for my most important goal for that day. So um, today is Monday the 10th and I really wanted to film some videos, plan with me and then this setup video as well. And tomorrow I'm gonna work on cleaning as a main focus so I wanna get the walls washed here in the kitchen in the living room. So I just kinda highlight what I think is the most important goal for my day. And that's my weekly section. I've got several more blank weeks here ready to go. And I also have a couple different layouts. Um, like this layout is just a regular horizontal week on two pages and it is lined. And I don't think I have any other blank ones in here right now. I do have some blank daily pages ready to be used Mondays, Tuesday. And the daily pages I always slip 
That way it's really easy to take them in and out and write on them and not have to open the rings so much. Okay, that's it for the weekly tab. My next tab is my home section. And so I've got, for all of my notes sections um, where I just have kind of a bunch of different things, I have gotten into the habit of using an index as the first page, kind of like a bullet journal, um, but it's all just within the section. And I found that super helpful for my home index and also for my, my work section um, because there's just a ton of random things in here. You can see I've got a summer to-do list. I've got ideas of activities I wanna do through each season. I've got hiking notes, camping notes, a ton of pages of passwords. Uh, working for a school district will do that to you, <laughs> having a ton of passwords. And then cards to send, product list, and I only set this up like two weeks ago, so I'm sure even more things will happen uh, that I'll need to write down, and I'll just add those to the index as they come. So I'll show you some of those pages. Here's my summer to-do list. So kind of just a master list for the summer. And then, like I said, I have lists for each season of things that I want to do. So summer, fall, winter, and spring, kind of like festivals or um, skiing trips or hiking trips that I know my husband and I want to do. I think in the past year, we've gotten really busy with work and kind of let some of these things that we've wanted to do slide. And I want to make, put this more as a priority that we you know, experience life and travel and go do all the fun things. And I know that I'll be better about doing those if I plan them out. So that's why I've made these lists. Uh, same thing with hiking, just put a bunch of hikes that we wanna do, some information about each one. I have notes on a camping trip that we went on and the supplies we needed for that trip. I, as I mentioned, have a ton of password pages. Um, this is actually my passwords for work and for home. I keep them all in the same uh, inserts just to, for simplicity's sake, but there's like 20 pages of that, so I just paper clipped them all together. And I've got my cards to send insert. Haven't used it yet, just put a brand new one in here. Uh, my other one got filled up with Mother's Day and Father's Day and birthdays. <laughs> I've got products lists. And so this is just something I like to have with me when I go out to the store. I always forget like what kind of makeup color that I use that works best for me. So I just jotted those down. Um, so I wouldn't buy the wrong color because sometimes I have done that in the past and then you feel like it's just a waste because it doesn't look right on your skin or whatever. I've got some more blank pages ready to go for more notes or lists that come up. My next tab here is just kind of like a tab to use for things that are very temporary. So I guess you could call it like a brain dump list, brain dump section or a list section, um, or just really anything that I just want a scratch piece of paper for. These paper pieces of paper are just blank papers that I slotted and punched in here. You can see that they're a little too short for the planner. And that's because when I print out my inserts, um, when you print personal size pages, uh, let me go grab one actually and I'll show it to you. So when you print uh, personal size planner pages, it comes out of your printer just like this. It has um, the left side of the page, the right side of the page, or at least this is how mine are set up in my shop. It's a PDF, you print it off, it looks like this. You can print the other side. This one's still blank on the back, but you can stick it back in your planner, print it again on the other side. And then, I'm not even sure if you can see them in this light, but there's super faint cut lines there. And when you cut those out into the right size for a personal planner, there's this extra blank section in the middle. Now, it is not, as you can see, the right size to be another page, another insert, but it is quite a large sheet of paper, and so I really hate wasting those. I don't like to just throw them out or recycle them. So I typically use them for things like little short shopping lists for, or errand lists, um, for planning things out really roughly before I write it in my weekly section or something like that. 
So that's why I just saved this, those little middle sections. I punched holes in them and slit them and then stuck them here in my planner to use kind of as a brain dump. And that is what I've got here in this green tab. My yellow tab is my budget section. And we're gonna be traveling quite a bit this summer. We've got a pretty long trip in July. So I didn't wanna bring a ton of stuff, um, you know, or uh, make this super heavy because I know I wasn't actually gonna be spending time on budgeting while we were on that trip. So right now I've just got it super basic. I've got some spending trackers so that we can maintain our budget while we're gone. Just jot down the date, what we bought, and the amount. And then I have my monthly bill tracker, just because I always like to have that on me. It has all the bills that we pay each month, and then it has the amount that we paid for those. And this is a new printable that I've actually had for years, but I hadn't ever put it up on my Etsy store, but I decided why not. So this will be up on the store this week as well. On the back of my monthly bill trackers, I've got two in here just in case I get more bills that I need to add in, but I've just got lined paper so I can take notes if there were any discrepancies or anything like that. My orange tab is my meal planning and grocery list tab. So I've just got my meal plan for this week in here right now, and I've got a bunch of blank meal plans and grocery lists. Uh, my grocery list here is just a few things that I remembered that I need to get. I went shopping yesterday, but I forgot these, so I added them in so I don't forget them next week. So that's what I've got in this section. Pretty simple um, meal planners and grocery lists. With these, I also like to slip them just because I don't typically have my planner out necessarily the whole time that I'm shopping. So sometimes I just pull the page out and bring that with me. The red tab is my appointment index. So this is for any type of event where you have to make an appointment. So vet appointments, doctor appointments, dentist appointments, hair appointments, um, anything health related really. So I've got some notes about my dog and when he had his shots and when he needs to go get his ne next shots and how much they'll cost. I've got medical notes, I've got dental notes and hair salon notes. Um, and then in the back here, I just have another year at a glance calendar and I've got a bunch of lined paper um, that I'll use for tracking more appointments and uh, tracking health things. <clears throat> here in this brown tab or tan tab, the last one that I've got here is my work section. And this also has an index because it'll have a lot of random things once I start filling it up. Right now it just has a few pages since it's the end of a school year and the beginning of a new one. Uh, I've got ideas that I want to use to make my bulletin board for next year. I've got August to-do list items. And then I've got the new calendar, student calendar for next year. And that's it so far and I'll just keep numbering these pages and adding them to my index as I go. So that's it for my inserts. The last few things here are just things I like to have with me. <clears throat> I've got a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day, just because it makes me happy. I have a front or top loading pocket from Filofax. In here I have my, what are those called? Combination lock code just in case I ever forgot it. <laughs> I've got sticky notes and I have some stamps for letters. I have an envelope that I just cut down and this envelope is where I keep cash if I have any. And it's just paper clip clothes so that it can't fall out. And lastly, I've got my cards here. I've got the cards that I use on a somewhat regular basis, Costco, insurance, and Starbucks and then my uh, a different credit card that I don't really use. So that's what I've got going on. And that is my whole setup here. I do keep a pen here in the pen loop. I always keep my Pilot Friction pen right in there and it fits very nice because it's an elastic pen loop. 
and then it still snaps really easy, but it is quite full as you can see. And this will be my planner setup at least through the rest of the summer and into the fall. I might use it for the rest of the year. We'll just have to see once I get back into the school year if I need more space again. But I'm very excited to be using this personal size planner. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down in the box below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.